Hey, what's up guys? It's Umish Day 3 here. I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on Minecraft on how to make a very compact. It's not the most compact and it's not the fastest, but it's pretty easy to build. And um, once you get used to it, you can um, you can build it without even having to look back at this video probably once you've built a couple of them. Um, but here is the gate level logic for a full adder. And the way that um, you're probably going to want to implement it, it's going to be the easiest, uh, is once you've converted your decimal numbers into binary, you can uh, string your binary numbers all into a series of these full adders where the carry in to the first full adder is a zero um, so it would just be not powered and then the carry out of each one is just going to become the uh, carry in of the next one to its right or the uh, more significant bit uh, so here I will just have a I'm not going to do this as a live commentary because I tried it a couple of times and I kept building it wrong. I'd have like one redstone torch in the wrong place or something. So um, here I built it. I tried to do it nice and slow and not change camera angles too um, wildly so that you guys could follow it pretty easily. Um, so this is going to be all of that gate level logic here. Um, I plan on making an others or another small tutorial on um, just other useful gate, like an AND gate and an OR gate and... Uh, maybe if there is an easy way to uh, implement an XOR or an AND or, or a uh, NAND or something like that. Um, so I have checked out a couple of those, but I will probably do that once I finish this whole series because you don't really need them for this, um, but it is mathematical and it will help you do other things. So again, feel free to come back and watch this as many times as you want um, until you can build this adder correctly. Uh, it, the logic behind building it is pretty tricky, but again, once you've built it, actually reconstructing it isn't too terrible. Um, and here, the white and the black lines um, of wool, I guess, are they just the two inputs, A and B. So if you add a binary, uh, like you're just going to be taking in one bit at a time. So you'd have zero plus zero, um, and then you'd have a sum. This line that I'm drawing out right here, this is the sum. Um, there will be a carry in. I will draw that in a second. I'll point that out. And there's also a carry out. So 0 plus 0 will give you a 0 right here as the sum. Um, 0 plus 1 will give you a 1 on the sum. 1 plus 0 will give you a 1 on the sum. Um, 1 plus 1 will give you a carry out of 1 with a sum of 0. And then with a carry in of 1 and a, uh, a 1 going into each bit, that would give you a 1 on the sum and a 1 on the C out. So... Um, if you guys have worked with any of this binary stuff before and adders, then that'll all make sense to you. And if you're still new here, um, I would just recommend Googling it. This is mostly just going to be how to implement it in Redstone and uh, all of that is... So here, this will be a 1 and a 0 being fed into this with a carry in of 0. That's the left part. And you see here, the top is the sum of 1 and then a carry out to the right of 0. So we'll um, switch that from... Uh, you see it'll go back to zero. So here we have zero one instead of one zero. You'll see we'll have the same thing here and there's a sheep so I gotta kill that real quick. Um, so you'll have carry n of zero and then you'll have zero one so you get a sum of one. Um, here if you change both inputs to a one you will have a uh, carry out of one but the sum will change to zero. Then if you have ones on both of the inputs and then I just put a redstone torch there to activate the uh, the carry in, that's how you get a sum of one and a carry out of one. Here I just have, uh, if you have a carry in of one, that's essentially just like turning on one of the inputs. Here having the carry in of a one and a one on one of the inputs is the equivalent of having a one on both of the inputs. And here having a carry in of one, a one of both of the inputs give you a sum of one and a carry out of one, um, which are all of the possible combinations for that. Um, again, the carry in on the first one you see here is the redstone on the left, which goes to nothing. That's because, you know, you just start out with a zero, but the carry out of each one will become the carry in of the next most significant bit as you go. Um, so this is just arranged in a ripple carry, which is the least efficient as far as time goes, but uh, probably the simplest to implement. So I just wanted to do that so you could tell what was going on really easily. And then um, the sum that comes out of each one is just going to be the, uh, the bit of that significance as it goes out. And you just order those right to left, and the very last carry out is going to be your most significant bit. Um, here we had two four bits going in, so we had five bits coming out, and that's pretty much how it works. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments. I should be able to answer just about any question you can leave me, um, and if I can't, I'll probably just look it up and then find an answer for you. So um, yeah, if you found this helpful, please you know 
thumbs up, comment, all of that. Uh, subscribe if you're into Minecraft and mathematical things. And uh, that's all I got for you guys for now, so I will see you all later.